The Ritual of the Earth Stone is my current quest. Somewhere on this island is the Cave of the Hidden Music. I suppose sounds from the Earth are to be heard in it, and I'm to complete some ritual inside. I guess this kind of work is what the people of Solstein find satisfying? It has little meaning to me. I mean, that the Black Horker did lead me right where I was to go, but I don't think I understand why this is all so important. Or just how the Imperials are harming the land. Are all the trees gone? Is their mining operation harming anything? The answer to this, for me, seems to be no. What they claim to be harming the land seems more like the Nords of Skull Village are just looking for a reason to get rid of Outlanders. I see no signs that the land is being harmed. Maybe after living in the cold and drinking so much it causes one to lose their minds? Well, that would explain the Berserkers and the Freishags. Even so, I will continue with these tedious rituals if just to get Skull Village to think of me as less of an Outlander and more one of their own. Perhaps then, I can get information on what happened to Captain Carius. As it is right now, the Imperial Fort and the fledgling mining colony of Raven Rock are very vulnerable to another attack from the Wolfman creatures, be they werewolf or something else. I am looking for... Looking for... The Cave of the Hidden Music and learn the Song of the Earth. Hmm, travel northeast to the Cave of the Hidden Music. So, the Earth Stone is right here. Northeast. Looking on my map, there is a cave. It's by, there's one by Broder Grove, but there's also one kind of northwest of there. Broder Grove's about the center. Don't ask me what Broder Grove is. Some Nord thing of something or other. I should say this sword will keep me warm. <clears throat> But if it did do that, then it would burn me whenever I sheath it. So thankfully someone was thinking somewhere. Price hag. It does show snow in the area. It doesn't show a barrel, though. Huh. It's kind of more east of here. For all I know, it's right here. This could be Broder Grove. I hope not. It should be somewhere right around here. According to the map. I would love to be able to take these things out with one shot. Helps to have a lot of arrows. Back on that one. Okay, so there's a barrel here. They're, they're everywhere on this island. This is not a cave, though. Altar of Throned. It should be <clears throat> south by southwest from the Altar of Throned, kind of like where I am. 
I don't know what this cave looks like. All I see is a rock and a dark mark in it on the map. That's it. I looked like a Nord Barbarian when I went into Mornhold and Aldrin with this outfit. Probably confused if you'd done more. Confused anybody. Well, this isn't the rock. Wish I knew what this place was. This could be Broder Grove. Oh, you know what? It actually looks like <clears throat> a barrel that's to the north of where I need to go. So if I just keep going south, maybe I'll come across this place. <clears throat> a big barrel. But this isn't on the map. Bears all over the place, and snow, too. It's Nord's paradise. Okay, I guess I'll just have to search the area. Gotta be around here somewhere. Still like a barrow, isn't it? I've been in caves. Caves don't look like this. What's that noise? There's a Draugr over there. Yeah, I don't believe in looting. Doesn't mean I can't look. Looting barrows. Places where the dead go. I will kill the guardian, so. I'm here because. Whoa! Dark fast! Hmm. Hideous things. <clears throat> Those are once Nords. Why do they move so fast? Well, I don't know where to go if this is the right place. Ah, travel northwest, northeast to the cave of the hidden music and learn the song of the earth. <laughs> Maybe that means everything to a Nord, but it means pretty much nothing to me. Okay, so we've got a lot of Draugr. <laughs> Song of the Earth. Ah, maybe I have to go down into the Earth to learn it? Maybe a stone will hum and sing to me? Maybe it's in a chest. Stuff that only makes sense to a Nord. That's where I came down. <clears throat> I'm 
Restore Magicka. Lots of gold. They tend to put more gold than Gunmark put into their vaults. Their ancestral tombs, I should say. Ancestor tombs. I don't know, there's less people here. Maybe less grave robbers? I don't know. That's what all the ancestor ghosts were for. To defend the tombs. In, uh... Well, Vardenfell. I haven't been to any in Morrowind. It got awfully quiet. Straight ahead, then. Ugh. Nordic Bearskin Cuirass. Hmm. I'll take this. Grandmaster Lockpick. Because it's somebody that wasn't interred here. I take it somebody was grave robbing. I thought I heard a Draugr up ahead. One thing I do have to say, these places are nicely <laughs> lit. Compared to Ancestor Tombs. get it before it got to me. in the story does he question of the stones how in the story does he get the earth fulfill the earth stone thing whatever it is okay enter the cave of the hidden music and hear the song of the earth so Avar traveled north and east to the cave of the hidden music he found himself in a large cavern where the rocks hung from the ceiling and grew from the ground itself. He listened there and heard the song of the earth, but it was faint. Grabbing up his mace, he struck the rocks of the floor in time with the song, and the song grew louder until it filled the cavern and his heart. Then he returned to the earth stone? That doesn't help. All I have is my sword. I don't have a mace to hit the ground. I don't hear any any sound out there. Well, all I had to do is get some of that water the first time. This is different. If this is the place. It keeps going. place then. I need a mace. That sound is going to bother me after a while. Shockbite mace. Make it louder? He hit the stones on the ground. Not doing anything. I hate blunt weapons. A 
Blunt weapons are for cowards who don't want to see blood. Anyways, that's just what I've said about it over the years. keeps going and going. Is there a stone that I'm supposed to hit? Maybe I'll find something. Oh, look at this. This is what he meant. They grew from the ground and from the ceiling. In the cave of the hidden music, I found a large structure made of stalagmites and stalactites. An odd music seems to be coming from them. I always remembered the difference. Stalagmites come up from the ground like a fist. Might. And stalactites come down from the ceiling. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, back to center. seem to do anything. Is there a special mace I'm supposed to use? A hammer? I found that when one of the hollowed slagmites is struck, it produces a musical note like the ones I can hear in this cave. Okay. Do, do, do. It's always the same. Oh. changing. By striking the stalactites in succession, I was able to recreate the sounds I can hear in this cave. When I did, the pattern changed. Well, I can safely get rid of this mace. Okay, which ones is it getting? After repeating the new pattern, the sound swelled and then grew silent. I, sh I should return to the earth stone. Hmm. Well, this was the only thing. I mean, there was another barrel, and there was also Broder Grove that I could have gone to. But this is the only thing that was right northeast of the stone. So I've got to go southwest to get back to where I was. The left here. I have a feeling that these Nords here are not the same as in the rest of Skyrim. Is this where you go? Did I write down? Yeah, straight here. I don't remember hearing about them worshipping the land. Most Nords that I heard about, actually, they just have different names for the same gods, like Kain and... Oh. They talk about Shore a lot. I think Shore is their Lorcan, which is a little strange, because Lorcan is long dead. But anyways, that's just the pantheon that Alessia created back in the first era. It was meant to appease both... Uh, Men and Myrrh. They incorporated the religion of both into the, each other. Into one new one, I should say. Okay. So, south. I should be able to at least see this. Get these wolves.
Is, is, no, it's, that's not in the distance, is it? I don't think I was quite that far south. Or southwest. Looks like a bunch of bandits there. I'm going to go to the top of this hill and look around. I have been here. There it is. They're easy to pick out once you know what they look like. At least this time this doing the ritual for the stone didn't kill me or nearly kill me. Whoa. That's an odd sound. I have completed the gift of earth ritual. When I returned to the earth stone, it began to glow with a mystical light. What's next? I think it was... Was it the animal? Wrong. Go look. Long story, and now I have to actually live it. So, Waters of Life, then Song of the Earth. Find the good beast and ease his suffering. Avar traveled through the woods of Isenfir for many hours until he heard the cries of a bear, I remember that, from over a hill. As he crested a hill, he saw the bear, a Falmer's, Falmer's arrow, arrow. Sorry, mouth is getting cold. Freezing up my jaw, piercing its neck. He checked the woods for the Falmer, for that is what they were, though some say they are not. And finding none, approached the beast. He spoke soothing words and came upon it slowly, saying, Good beast, I mean you no harm. The Allmaker has sent me to ease your suffering. Hearing these words, the bear ceased his struggles and laid his head on Avar's feet. Avar grasped the arrow and pulled it from the bear's neck. Using the little nature magic he knew, Avar tended the wound, though it took the last bit of his strength. As the bear's wounds closed, Avar slept. When he awoke, the bear stood over him, and the remains of a number of the Falmer were strewn about. He knew that the good beast had protected him during the night. He traveled back to Beast Rock, the bear by his side, and the Allmaker spoke to him again. Okay. Now we just have to find where this rock is. Now I'll look for a bear, I guess I could try healing. Beast Stone. It's just south of Skull Village. So, I'm going to travel on to the Igna River to the east, and then I'll go north. That's an easy way of finding Skull Village. I miss Shani, actually. I'm thinking about her the last... when I was sick and recovering. I'm almost dying. I guess I shouldn't kill any bears while I'm looking for this... I think you have to activate the stone, then look for the bear. Some Sujama! That is a vicious looking wolf. Okay. Travel east. That's why Nord's drink it warms you up from the inside. By the none, I can move fast when I want to. I guess it depends how heavy of a uh, load I'm carrying on me. This might be Broder Grove, actually. Now that kind of looks like a cave. I was looking for something that looked more like this. don't mind the landscape, the animals, the trees, it's just the cold again to complain about for the 500th time. It's the cold I don't like. Price hag ahead. Uh, can I be sure? Yep. I 
think it's a fry's head. Fool! By the nine, what's that? Hey, I don't want to kill these very attractive Nord women. It's, uh, I have to admit, some of them are quite, quite good looking, but it's. I don't have a choice. It's them or me. They're the ones attacking me. The river should be right here. Well, that's a stone over there. I think that's the sunstone, though. Looking on my map. Looking for the beast stone. Oh, it is really close to Skull Village, actually. It's north of Lake Fjalding, so... <clears throat> if I'm to do this right, I'll do it in order as in the story. Looks like some bandits right here. Ah, I thought I cleared this camp out. I am the Nerevarine. None of you. Enwa have a chance. Ugh, I'm gonna bother looking through their their stuff. They don't have anything that I could want. Oh, oh. I think I used up all I had the wrong spell. Mm, boots are wet. I haven't seen a uh, snow bear. How am I supposed to get more of that snow bear? Items. That's Thursk, right? Yeah, so just north of... North of there is where the beast stone should be. Magnus is going down. Have I really been out all day? Yes, there's only a few hours of light left. I guess it has been a long day. Reclaiming ahead. Okay. There it is. That's the beast stone. <laughs> Her things are really short. Wish I can pick, peg it off its mount. Don't know what's making it stay on there when it... They don't even have a saddle. Six of them. Seeing that makes me wish I had Julan and Shani with me. say this is the smallest opponent on two feet that I've ever killed. Goblins are even bigger than them. Yeah. This is the dumbest opponent on two feet that it'll be your body. I've ever killed. Well, maybe next to an orc. How does it feel to know death? Attack me just with your fists, huh? 
Alright, here's the earth stone. A beast picture. Let's get on with this. <laughs> 